Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado. We are still waiting for that sun to just peek out over the horizon right now. This is a live look from Alamosa where, you know, it's a little bit cooler today. Woke up with a little bit of dew on that car. So yeah, I guess it kind of feels like fall. Your time right now is 612. Let's get a full check on your weather. Here's Marty with your Storm Tracker 13 forecast. Good morning, Marty. Ooh, yeah, let's see. What are those peak fall colors looking like? <laughs> yeah, up across the high country right now and probably over the next week coming in here and across the front range in our local foothill areas, we're starting to see some nice color around Teller County. And then eventually this is going to start to spread down here into lower elevations over the first couple of weeks of October. So we're probably not quite at peak here locally, but uh, we'll get pretty close. It's getting pretty colorful out there right now from what I'm hearing from folks that have been able to take a drive. 50s in most of eastern Colorado right now. Still have some 40s though up to the north and that is where the cooler area is coming from. And so not surprising to see those numbers down just a little bit over what we have here in the southern part of the state. Mixture of 30s and 40s over the mountains and mountain valleys. Actually a little warmer up there this morning than it was yesterday as this little front is stirring things up. It's a mostly dry front for the area though. We'll see an increase in clouds this afternoon. Notice a little green here and there on the map. There's a possibility that we'll get some very spotty, generally weak showers to develop somewhere late this afternoon or this evening. We're not expecting a lot of it though. More than that, you'll just notice the big temperature drop off. We had record highs yesterday. Lamar was at 99, for example, and we were hovering around or into the 90s well uh, along I-25 for much of the afternoon. Uh, we'll end up in the 60s and 70s today, so I'm sure you'll notice that difference. 50s and 60s up across the high mountain areas with 70s for the southern valleys, and that's outside of any brief showers that may develop. Even if you don't get much rain, if you have some weak showers in the area, they'll tend to knock the temperatures back even further. So I wouldn't be uh, opposed to recommending a light jacket if you're going to be outside this afternoon. And Futurecast continues to show some clouds, and again, just some very spotty weak showers trying to develop at times over parts of eastern Colorado. And if we get any of these over the mountains, there could even be a few wet snowflakes. But again, we're not expecting much. Some patchy low clouds perhaps after midnight out here across the plains. Doesn't look like these will be terribly widespread. But if you wake up to a, a little bit of gray tomorrow morning in pockets here in eastern Colorado tomorrow, don't be surprised. That's just that cooler air banked up against the mountains. But it wouldn't last very long tomorrow morning. When you wake up tomorrow morning, 30s to around 40 in much of eastern Colorado. If you're on the higher terrain around the Pikes Peak region, you're probably going to go down to around freezing or perhaps below. It has uh, been a little while since that's happened, so maybe take some precautions with any tender vegetation or, or perhaps uh, be careful with your hoses and sprinklers. Up across the high mountain country in the valleys, it'll be cool again. We'll have teens and 20s, so uh, that's not unusual. There are some of the clouds looking out east as seen from up on top of Cheyenne Mountain. The light's pretty low, so it's kind of hard to pick out how hazy it is this morning, but we do expect to have some haze here today for sure. And we'll be tracking that off and on throughout the week, but we're also tracking a cooler week. After we get through today, and not that today's chances are great, doesn't look like we'll have much chance for rain or snow. Um, so for those of you who kind of like the fall crisp weather, I think you're really going to like this week because for the first time in a while, it's, it's not going to be this you know ridiculous changing of the weather. We'll just kind of settle in and have some real crisp air wow. for a little while. Yeah, what a change. Mm -hmm. Sounds nice already. Yeah. Have you been to the uh, Pueblo Chili Festival? I have not been to that. Well, coming up, if you haven't made it to the 